to meeting these people who are even the, the big stars of today, yeah. it's like, wow, I, I met them at the beginning, you know. Yeah. This is incredible, man. I moved on from there to go to Motown. Uh, even when I was at Uptown, I was close with Puff Daddy and other people. Puff Daddy was an NR there. Mm -hmm. So I had met him too. And then I met Jodeci before they blew up because they heard a demo of mine. Devante came and got me out of Charlotte. He came and got Absolutely. me. Absolutely. It was Devante, wasn't it? Was it? Devante. Yeah. So shout out to Devante. And I'm so proud of them guys are, are touring right now. They're touring in the States and you know, I'm just glad to see them working out again, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. they've really changed black music. We'd love to see time. them out here, too. And they're, they're wonderful so, guys. So, so you can put a word in for us. Yes, so yes. Like Classic FM, you know, we're really in We reached out. Okay. You know, All right. We, well, we, you know, we have contacts. Me and okay. you know, my management right here, Tony Venice, Mr. Tony Venice. he came yeah, out we're here gonna talk to. We're going to talk to yeah. Tony in mm -hmm. a minute. He's Because yeah. uh, Horace is here with his manager, yeah. who flew out from Cali just Mm -hmm. to, to be with time to be with him yeah. on this trip to Nigeria. So we're gonna we're gonna we'll talk mm -hmm. to Tony in a, in a sec. All right, mm. that's what's up. All right, so it's uh, we're classic FM. We like to we our, our, our strap line is we play every song you know. Mm -hmm. So if you're an artist and you're singing here on classic, you FM, saw me jamming when I, I came in, right? Because really, really I was jamming because that's my music, man. The '90s music is still in my heart and my soul. I love '90s music. Uh, Mary was singing. Yeah. You know, I was like, ooh, you know. So, Tony, let's bring you in here. We've got Tony Vines in the studio with us, and this is Horace's manager. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for making the trip, Tony. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely, absolutely. Couldn't have been easy, but you did come out, so it's great to have you here. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, please. And he brought his wife with him, right? And she's yeah. been injured, and she had, like, a leg injury, and she got a crutches, but she wanted to make it so bad because she's, like, so many percentage, like, 80% Nigerian. And it, just, it just touched my soul that I was <laughs> helping her just to come to where she's 80%, you know, and she come here to, you know, to actually see where she's from. It oh, just touched my soul, her. you know. Bless her. Like, I was able Bless to help her. them. Please, come Tony, out. give her give her our love. Mm -hmm. I will, I will. Yeah. Um, this is one of the questions I like to ask when... When we've got uh, people like yourselves in the studio, you know, um, give us a window. Now, you're in Nigeria. It's, you're probably going to get connected with some of our artists. And you know, uh, uh, Afro Pop, we call it, okay. is doing great things at the yeah. moment. I know you've heard names like Whiskey, Burner Boy, mm -hmm. and, uh, and David O. Oh, those David sorts o. of names. Um, Anybody uh, thinking of doing anything with? I mean, now might be the time, you know, now to, to be make that connect. But, you know, I just got here. And, it's been and Tony's here too. Yeah. Tony? Right, right. right. I think so, we, would, we would love to connect with all the major artists here in the area, at least to build a relationship with yeah. them. And, you know, if so. Who knows where that will go? Absolutely. And, and, and that's the main thing because we all are in the same community. Mm -hmm. And even if nothing happens from that, we would still love to develop a relationship. And we bridge the gap. And bridge the gap. Amen. Absolutely. Um, uh, that's what we're about. Okay. So, the way we've been selling mm -hmm. today's event okay. is that... Wait a minute. Before, before we go there, I just want to say her name. Her name is Nichelle. We didn't even say her name. Oh, but she's, yeah. she's, she's, she's Nigerian. We're going to get to see her tonight. Yeah. yeah well, I wish she came over. It would be great to hear, to, see, yeah. to hear from her. Okay. And so, yeah. we're talking about, you know... Uh, performing tonight, mm -hmm. and it will be tonight at the Motorboat Club. That's right. So if you guys are, you know, uh, interested in, in catching Harsh Brown live and see me sing those songs that you have loved for years, Absolutely. you know you love those records. Absolutely. Don't try to front. You know you love One for the Money. You know you love Things We Do for Love. Absolutely. Because we all did that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Diamond rings, pearls and things, trips in December, things we do for love. You know we all did things for love. So come out tonight and you can hear the, the originator and the one who really wrote the song and sang it for you live and you, you're you really going to enjoy it. Motorboat That's, Club. We've been selling it as, as uh, having a taste mm -hmm. taste of love, taste of love. tonight. Okay. So mm -hmm. so that's what's up, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Because I'm full of love for my, my, my family over here and, you know, we just blessed to get here, you know, because I'm telling you, I got to say something personal. Like, you know, I really cry real tears when I come here in places in Africa. It's like I'm at the motherland that many people in the States will never get a chance to see or mm -hmm. come home, back, come back home. It's like coming mm -hmm. back home to a place you, you know, don't even really know. Horace, can I ask you what the transition was like? Because mm -hmm. you started out singing in the church. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. all right. Now, the, the transition. And do you still... 
Is that influence still there? For me, it was internal. It was always God telling me that it's fine. You, you, you're singing for your people. You're singing yeah. something. Because uh, I found out that every, uh, uh, the Lord said that, you know, like there's a time and place for everything. Hmm. So that means that, you know, when you make love, I don't think you listen to gospel music. I just don't think you do so. I just don't think you put on some, you know, <laughs> some crouch and say, let's, Come on, baby. You know yeah. what I mean? You're going to, you, because what you're about to do is you love each other. Mm. And when you do that, you, you know, you just want to touch each other and you want to, you know, you want to be compassionate. You want to be passionate and you want to feel every moment of this because it's special. That's it. Yeah. You, you're giving yourself to somebody. Yeah. And yeah. when you do that, you want to share a loving experience. So I wrote taste songs like Taste Your Love and because yeah. I love my woman. I don't do anything for her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm not, and I'm not afraid to say it. So, when you get to that point, you realize that this is God in you telling you that be real. Mm, mm -hmm. That's what, that was my transition. Love it, love it. Thank you. All right, now you, you've um, your career seen you collaborate, work with, meet up with, yeah. and so on. Some of the oh, biggest I've, I've names been so blessed, in man. the game. Really, Jay Z. And I'm seeing names like Biggie Jay Z. And, yeah, I'm seeing Christopher Williams. Christopher Williams. You know, Jodeci. Foxy Brown, uh, working with my man uh, who produced some of these records is like you know it was just great. I just met too many people, man. I met mm. so many uh, working on this project, and then after I got through, and I, I didn't know the love that I would receive would be this major. I mm. really didn't. I just was doing it from my heart. Just wait till you see yeah. what's gonna happen so tonight. So then when I met Bobby Brown and many yeah. other celebrities that came to me and said, Horace Brown, I was like, he know my name, you know what I mean? I couldn't yeah. believe, you know, <laughs> I, how much I love Bobby Brown. He'd walk up to me and say, Horace Brown. I was like, oh my God, I just met Bobby Brown and he called my name out, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that just blew my mind what music done for me, you know, that I could meet some of these celebrities and, and they would embrace me, you know what I mean? I couldn't mm -hmm. believe Jay-Z would embrace me when I see him, I go in the studio, he, he in the studio working and I was just so, you know, uh, such a fan of his when I saw him in the booth and he's like, he saw him in the studio. He was like, come on in, Harris. I was like, oh my God, he said my name. You know, we, I, yeah. I, I, I forgot I know Jay Z. <laughs> All right, now I'm, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw a bit of shade now mm -hmm. at, at some of our, some of our artists. Mm -hmm. now, I know their ears have pricked up now that I've said this. It might even go viral, but you know what? I really don't care. I'm going in right now. Word. I mean, how, how, We've had some big names come through here. Okay. I'm talking Teddy Riley, wow. Bobby Brown, I like you said. I mean, some really big names. And, and one thing that I find with all of you, and it's the same thing this evening. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've come in here, you know, you came over and you hugged me like a brother. Yes, you know, and yes, you, you know, how do, how do you guys sort of, with everything you've achieved mm -hmm. in the game and mm -hmm. all of that, how do you guys stay so grounded? Because over here, really? you make a bit of money, you get a bit of success, and suddenly your nose is up in the air and you're really? acting some kind of way. Well, let me tell you this. It's, yeah. it's like that in the States, too. And I've noticed this and I've seen this happen, too. But that's what made me compel myself to be real and be like, yo, I'm yeah. not them. I'm not like them. I don't want to be like them. I, don't, I just want to be real. Yeah. So, until I leave this world, I want to be a real person love my friends for real to hug you for real yeah. it's not no joking what I'm doing yeah. uh, I got family at home and they, they love you too like to say you know we love each other we, we, we're just not connected because of the, the distance yep. and everything yep. but we love each other music and everything Tony how you feel I want to I wanna comment on that I want to yeah, just say on. one thing is that what I think is not something against our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. is that money brings a change in lifestyle Amen. So you have really to understand does. that when you go from zero to having a whole bunch, your whole life changes. So we, I don't think our brothers or sisters intentionally change against us. I just think that they develop new habits and new situations that where their life is no longer what it was before they had that. So it's not a turn up of a nose per se. It's more so that I'm just doing this now over here this way versus what I was doing before. Mm. So that respect of having money comes with a different change of events and how you run your life. Mm. I, hear, I hear you, Tony. I, yeah, but I, I, he's I, talking I, about the people that you knew he, he, before. He, he, you know, because and a lot of those people. Say, if you want to know a man's true, you, you find a man's true character. True character. When he's got a bit of money. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Give him a bit of money. His true character will come out. Mm -hmm. And and so the, that behavior is something that's that's there already. Now know, I, I yeah. get what you're saying, and I understand that. I but I also the true character of a man will come out. And I think back to what I was saying. Some people don't know how to be loving and in that space mm. when they reach that level. Yeah, yeah. So that does change Because they went them. through a lot when they didn't have nothing. Remember that too now. So now. the turn up of the nose mm -hmm. is it's is part of their character because of now <laughs> what I do have and what before. I don't want to share <laughs> yeah. and I'm selfish <laughs> and this is mine. You know, all of those <laughs> things do happen. You're right. right. But there are some of us that are grounded <laughs> yep. that yep. do reach that level mm -hmm. and say, you know what, now I can help my people. Facts. Now I can still reach out to my people and show them how much I love them, even up. though I've earned all that I have That's from up, the love of my audience. Mm -hmm. My audience has taken me to another level. And now I can show them how appreciative I am. Amen. Because That's everybody does not do that. And you are right. Absolutely. You are right. Absolutely. In case you just tuned in, it is Classic FM 97.3. And we're bringing you an exclusive with Horace Brown and his manager, Tony Vanias, mm -hmm. who's in the studio with us, and uh, we're talking uh, the fourth year anniversary of Reminisce. It goes down tonight at the Lagos Motorboat Club, and uh, Horace is going to be there performing live. Now, um, let's come home to Nigeria now, Horace. First time out here, yeah? Yo, man. I you got a towel in your hand, so what? Uh, the heat? The heat. I've been sweating and wiping <laughs> off, but, you know, I'm just wiping off to say that I don't mind the heat. That's all I'm trying to say is I yeah. don't mind it. Like, you know, some people, you know, it's hard. I'm going to go in. No, I don't mind. I was... I sit out there in the heat and just wipe myself down. You yeah. know, just keep wiping off. Be like smiling, <laughs> happy. I'm in a place that I dreamed about being since I was a kid. You know, yeah. Nigeria seems like the capital to me. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, you know, when you think about Africa, you think about Nigeria. You think right away because over in America we see TV shows, we see movies, and the, and the funniest ones are from Nigeria. Come on, you guys, are, you guys, your comedians, your, your, when your movies that are funny. Yeah. Oh my God, we be over there on the floor, man. We be on, and the way you talk. The accents? Yeah. Oh my god! I, I be trying to trying to you know repeat the accents and try to you know. He didn't say that. Oh yes. Uh, he say, is it true? It's not true. It is not true. It is not true. It is not true. It is not true. He did not say that. Did he say that? Yeah. I, I be trying to you know react the movies I see mm. and try to speak mm. this way. And I say, wow, this is my homeland. This is where I'm from. That's I say the, com the, the 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 what they have in comedy and everything. It's yeah. just, it's just it just blows my mind. It's really yeah. funny. It, it has me laughing. I'm on the ground. You know, and I just believe that you know I'm so happy to be con to be here and to yeah. connect with those yeah. those artists and those people today. Mm -hmm. And when I'm in the streets of Nigeria, I see mm -hmm. people. I'm just handing out money here. And I go, yeah. I, I don't want to say that out loud. Everybody be like, Horace, <laughs> hey, Horace, what you got? Give me some, Horace. Come on, give me some. Come on, give me some, Horace. You know, but I, I'm just saying, out of love, you see people suffering. Come on, hand them a few dollars. Yeah. If you got some, hand them something. Come on, y'all. Don't even try to act like you're going to drive off and they, they stand at your window and they don't, yeah. they got a daughter and she's, you know. Come on, man. I'm, I'm just being real. What we have to go through, we have to go through. But we have to take care of our own. Mm -hmm. Let's take mm -hmm. care of our own. All right, so let's, let's come back to the music now. Yes, you know, sir. what's up? Well, I'm working on a new, new project, got new records I'm working on right mm. now, and I'm about to drop some, shoot a video, you know, this new ah. single is going to be called She's One of a Kind, One of a Kind is, is what I'm working on, and we're going to drop a video for oh, Over one. here, over here, we call it, mm -hmm. we call it Expo, mm -hmm. when, when you're asking someone to give you a sneak peek, mm -hmm. I and mean, we're on the radio, so mm -hmm. a cappella, can you give us something we haven't heard before? Okay, yeah, of course. Acapella. Hang on, let me take Acapella. this down. Yeah, here we go. All right, give me a second. Let me see. All right. All right. Don't say I never did anything for you. We're giving you Horace Brown Acapella live on the radio. She's one of a kind, one I've been waiting for. Queen of my life. You know, I, I don't want to sing the song on TV, on the radio, man. I, I want to, I want them to hear it live, man. Yeah. You know, so, I, so I gotta send, gonna, gonna I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you, okay? Oh, the record, bless. And you're mm -hmm. gonna play that record today for me, mate. I will right? play it. If I send it to you, you're gonna play. It. You're I gonna listen to it. it. You're gonna say, Horace, I gotta play this record. I gotta play. It. If I send it to you, you're gonna have to play it anyway. I'll play it. I'll so play it. I, I'll send it to. You, but I'll sing something that they know. 
You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Romantic places in my mind. Hoping someday I would find the perfect one and I could share. And then that day she walked inside and no longer could I hide my love. I had to take you there. Yes. Hi. <laughs> All right, selling on the cruise, Bless so we're gonna be on that boat. All right, absolutely. Tonight is going down. All right, it's Classic FM ninety seven point three, the only station that plays every song you know, and the only station that's bringing you Horace Brown live and his manager mm-hmm. live on Lagos Radio. So do act like you know. Now it's going down tonight at the Lagos Motorboat Club, ten p.m. till late. All right, and uh, to get tickets, I've got a number somewhere. Hang on a second. Let's uh, quickly share that with you. So, uh, I think you've got a bit of time. If you'd like to get tickets, uh, you can, and tables, you can dial this number. Give me one second. Uh, can't find it. You better find it. Oh, right, here we go. Got it. Uh, the number to dial is 0817-797-4647. That's 0817-797-4647 to make reservations and to buy tables. Don't forget, this is sponsored by the Balvenie Whiskey, MTN, and First Bank. It's also supported by Classic FM 97.3. That's us, by the way, just in case you were wondering. All right, we're going to give you our platform, Horace. What would you like to say to Nigeria? I would like to say, I'm sitting out here on the stoop and I'm waiting just for you. I'm in uptown Harlem and it's hot outside. I know exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's get in the shower for two and... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Legos, come out here and hear something new tonight. I'm just giving you bits and pieces, so come out here and hear it live tonight. Come and hear Horace do something new for y'all. And plus, you know, I'm going to sing all those hits that you really love. I don't sing, yeah, you know, if you have a request, I might do that too. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm here for the first time, and you know what I mean? Whatever the people want, I'm ready to give them, all right? Bless you. That's what's up, Chico. Tony, go on. Give us a final word. Well, I just want to say that, um, if you are in for a treat tonight, if you want to come out and see a good, sh- you know, grown folk show and see an icon at work, uh, this is the event to show up for. So we want you guys in Lagos to show some love to Horace and uh, come on out. Have a, you know, be, be a part of a, an event that's uh, going to be um, something that you'll never see before. So we want to see you there. Right. There you had it. There you have it. Bless you guys for coming through. We've got a tradition here on Classic FM. I've gone live right now, so we're going to see um, Horace actually signing okay. our wall. I'm going to nip great. out, get him a marker, mm-hmm. and then he's going to sign. And uh, our list of greats who've been through the station keeps growing, mm-hmm. and we always get them to leave their autograph on the wall. So we're going to do that. If you're following us live, you'll see him doing it live. Other than that, we're going to end with some tasty love. Word.